Welcome to our lecture online. This video is as much a video of interest because we're going to take a look at various octane ratings of various hydrocarbon molecules. It is also a video to try to figure out what the names of some of these molecules are. So what is the name? And we're going to get some practice here. Now most of these should be familiar to us. Some are relatively new, so we'll see if we can figure it out. The first three are very familiar. There's linear molecules. The first one has eight carbons, this one has seven, this one has six. So this is called n-octane for normal octane, normal heptane, and normal hexane. Notice the octane ratings are fairly low at minus 20, 0, and 25. Matter of fact, normal heptane is used in a concoction to which other fuels are compared as far as their octane ratings is concerned. The next molecule, let's see if we can figure out the name. Here we have a ring-like structure with one, two, three, four, five carbons, so we should name that cyclopentane. And then we have what we call a alkyl. But now notice alkyl has one, two, three carbons, so it's a chain of three. We call that N-propane if it was a normal chain, but since it's missing a hydrogen and therefore it's an alkyl, we'll call it N-propyl. So N-propyl cyclopentane is the name for this molecule. The next one again is a fairly simple one. We have one, two, three, four, five carbons, so we call it N-pentane because it's a linear structure. Notice that the octane level is now jumped from 31 for the N-propyl cyclopentane to 62 for N-pentane. Still probably not good enough for gasoline. Now the next one is called isopropyl cyclohexane. Let's see if we can figure that one out. Well, first of all, we have a cyclic structure here, a round structure, with six carbons. That's where the name cyclohexane came from. Then it has a, a group right here, which is called an alkyl. It has one, two, three carbons. So we think about propane. But in, of course, since it's missing a hydrogen, it's called propyl. And since we have this structure right here where it's, it's um, what we call symmetric and it has a single attach point, we'll call that isopropyl. So this alkyl is called isopropyl and this is called cyclohexane. The next molecule, again, is fairly familiar. It has two methyl attachments to a structure that has one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. So we see a hexane in there and two methyls, so dimethyl, and the points of attachment are the second and the fourth carbon atom, so it's 2,4 dimethyl hexane. It has an octane rating of 65. The next one, again, we have a cyclic structure with five carbons, so we see cyclopentane, and we have the same structure we have over here, which is called an alkyl called isopropyl. So it's isopropyl cyclopentane versus isopropyl cyclohexane. Here the octane level is up to 81. The next one is just simply a cyclic structure with no attachments to it. So this is simply cyclohexane with an octane rating, octane rating of 83. The next are again very familiar molecules. Here we have one with four carbons. It's linear in structure, so N-butane. And here we have three carbons, and there we simply just call it propane. Notice the octane levels 94 and 97. Now the next one is one that is common in gasoline. It has one, two, three, four, five carbons in a linear structure, so there we see the word pentane. It has three attachments, they're all methyls, so trimethyl, and they're attached, two of them at carbon, the second carbon, one of them at the fourth carbon, so two, two, four, trimethyl pentane. And you can see that the octane rating there is 100. Here we have a structure, now this is cyclopentane, I don't have that yet by itself, we had a cyclohexane here, here's a cyclopentane because it has five carbons and that has an octane rating of 101. And now to the benzene ring. Here we have a benzene by itself, it has an octane rating of 105.8 and then here is something we haven't seen yet, a benzene with a methyl, a methyl attachment to it. So that is called toluene. It has a common name, toluene. It has a very high octane rating of 118. So it's kind of fun going through and try to establish the names of these molecules. It's good practice. Once you start getting familiar with the way these molecules are called, then you can kind of figure it out as we go on. So 
it's a good, it's a good video, gives you some practice. Hopefully you're able to practice your naming conventions here. Now we're ready to move on to some additional things in organic chemistry.